touchscreen monitor. There's a red button on the back, which is the power on, power off. So if I just depress that for a few seconds, the monitor will come to life. It does take about 25 or 30 seconds to scroll through to the, the start screen about where we want to be. Um, so basically just let it do its stuff and uh, come to life the way it wants to do. <coughs> and what we'll do today, very quickly, is just scroll through, do a quick ride on the bike and scroll through the functions of the monitor so you know what data you're looking at and you know how to move between each of the screens and what, and what the options are on the watt bike. So the tablet's starting uh, and in a moment it will, uh, it will go from this screen which is just its default screen. It will automatically open the watt bike uh, touchscreen monitor interface, uh, which is this one, and we can get started. Obviously, if you select workouts, there's a number of workouts there that you can select just by pressing and then go riding. Uh, there's a go back button. Um, there's, and in the same way, you've got a folder of tests. You can build intervals or you can select longer term plans if you're looking for programs that are beyond obviously one single workout. But we'll just go for a quick ride right now. You'll see the bike starts up, it has a brief countdown, generally kicks in when it gets to three or two, and the data will start to appear as soon as I start riding. So I start riding now, and you're immediately faced with all of the data. Obviously we're on the symmetry screen at the moment, so what bike's classic peanut is in the middle, um, and what we're trying to do obviously is balance the power that we're generating, which is 75 watts there. And you can see that 49%, 53%, 46% is coming from my left. So it measures the left versus the right. It also gives you target zones to get into. So red, I'm miles out. Orange or amber, I'm getting close. And green is obviously my target of where I want to be to get a high. PES, which is a pedal efficiency score. It is possible to get that over 70 and stay consistently within that range. So the other way to move around the data is just to swipe or press the icons at the top. So if we want to look at power, we just click on power. We still get the PES score, but we're getting an average power and a peak power reading, and also distance achieved and a lap time and an overall time. If we had a heart rate monitor plugged in on me, probably need one, you'd get a heart rate reading there. Cadence, so I can go up and I can drop down. And all the time, keep, my, keep an eye on my cycling technique. And there's a calorie burner on the far right. You can also scroll through those like that. If I want to pause the workout, or if I'm doing sectors, and I can just click the lap button. Oh, there it is, like that. The overall time continues, but I've restarted from that moment on a separate lap timer, like that. And if I want to end the workout, press the pause button. It, I can either continue or I can end the workout. I end the workout and I get a good summary of everything that I've done, a QR code, average metrics, peak metrics, and additional metrics. To turn the monitor off, or to save this, if you're logged in, it will save, and you can look at the history of the workouts here. And also, if you're logged in, you can add your weight, and there's a power to weight, uh, watts per kilo reading, which you scroll up and down from using the power screen but scrolling up or scrolling down now to turn off i go back to that red button hold it down you'll see there's three options here power off restart or screenshot cancel wrong button sorry do that again power off and it's shut down and that's it thank you very much